So if you use Dropbox as your storage and you also have a paid version in Outlook, then you might consider moving your storage files to your Outlook OneDrive so you can save money, of course. So if this is something that you want to know, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. Without further ado, one, two, three. So yeah, so the first options um, for you to do that is you can either open to Molt Cloud. Um, in case you want to try this one, you can use the link description below to get a discount. But let me just walk you through how Molt Cloud works. So yeah, Molt Clouds allow you to just easily transfer all of your files from one click. But the only disadvantage right now is if you have a big storage into your account, um, you cannot avail the free version because it only allows you to transfer 30 gig per month. Now we do have 800 gigs, so we need to open for $190 to fully transfer all of our files from Dropbox to OneDrive and I need an approval to my to my boss so I look for other I look for other alternative but in case if it, it feels a little bit complicated for you to set it up then you can just use this mult cloud options it's super easy like you can go here cloud transfer put the Dropbox and then put the OneDrive and it, it will when you click the transfer, it will transfer everything for you. So let's jump into the tutorial, which is using both app for the Dropbox and the um, OneDrive. Okay. So first is you need again install a Dropbox into your into your computer. So I already have mine here. This one ready have mine and then if you want and then the second tool is make sure as well that your OneDrive is zinc to your local computer now the process for the Mac is a bit different um, the Microsoft 365 is default in Windows but if you click this you need to select by the way a library that you want to zinc in your computer so in my end I want this to be Zinced. The other, I, I, I mean, I will be just using this library. So click the zinced, and then you just need to click this open OneDrive. In case you haven't connected yet, you will, you will be asked um, to put in your credentials, your email address and password to zinc your files. So if you can see on my folder sections in here, okay. So I have this um, OneDrive that is tied up to my company and then this is the library and this is the folders that I'm I created I actually gonna need I'm gonna remove this one because I will be instead of manually copy pasting everything I will um, just use the migration option that would be easier so for the Dropbox, you need to connect your Dropbox account. So in case it's you are seeing this one, if it's empty on your end, you just need to click this part here, right click, and then click the smart links and make sure the online only will be on uh, will be is also checked. So um, this Dropbox icon will be visible on your computer you need to make this pop in order for you to sign into your Dropbox account so click that and then this one is, is currently zinced on my personal Dropbox account so I need to log into my um, company account so click the preference and then click the account and then click the sign out okay sign out and then open again your Dropbox I mean, in case the Dropbox is not linked yet to your to the right account, you can just do that. So sign in. I'm going to log into the right account. Yeah. So if you notice in here on the Dropbox, it's already start syncing. So I can then um, just start transferring the files from from Dropbox to to OneDrive. So to do that, simply copy the folder 
and then go into the um this one copy go here and then right click and then paste so it's a little bit time consuming actually versus on using the this one this plan because in this plan you can just easily put the Dropbox like you just need to link to your Dropbox there put it in a OneDrive put it select the folder where you want the, the files to be added and yeah that's super easy versus on do the copy pasting stuff